In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students, welcome you in Pakistan International School Tiles Virtual Learning System for the session 2021. I hope you all are fine and doing well at your home and you are studying also at your home with your family. Dear students, this is lecture for grade six and your favorite subject science. Today we will start our next chapter that is chapter number 11 that, was, that is about investigating sound. So in the previous we have talked about a lot about the light, its behavior, properties and uh, the reflection, how the images are formed uh, by different types of mirrors. Today we will see how the sound behaves. So for that, today we will see the uh, topic production of sign, uh, production of sound, and we will see that how sound is as a form of energy. So let's get started. So as you hear, uh, hear that uh, this is the sound of some dolphins which are um, just roaming here and there in the water. So in this chapter number 11, investigating sound, we will see that how these type of sounds are produced. Dolphins and whales use their sounds to send messages to each other under the water. So they also listen sounds to help them find their way. So they communicate with one another with the help of these type of sounds. So at the uh, end of this chapter, you all have to know about the sound as a form of energy. Then in this chapter, you will see that uh, how the speed of sound in the solids, liquids, and gaseous mediums are different. And uh, we will also identify a variety of materials through which sound can travel. So uh, how does a human ear receive sound waves? We will also see in this chapter um about the human ear we have just talked about the chapter number first um not in the uh, chapter number first but in sense organs that human ear um, is uh, used for the sensing of the sounds so we will see how does it will happen in the human ear what is the important part of the uh, production of sound waves um, or enhancing the sound waves and then uh, how the sound travels at, uh, through our ears uh, towards the brain. Okay, here we know that there are um, lots of sounds which we are surrounded by. So there is a great variety of sounds. Sound is all around us like a like air so like we are surrounded by air in this atmosphere so we are also having the sounds everywhere like this so we know that sounds are loud as well as soft also so the loud sound are um, like too much uh, um, unbearable sometimes and uh, we can say that the loud sound uh, produce uh, noise so that is called noise pollution also that is a category of sound that is called unpleasant sound some sounds are very soft and very pleasant to hear and we are 
willing just to hear these uh, very present uh, sounds. For example, if we just see some unpleasant sounds which we hear around us, that is the sound of horn of buses. So you have seen that is uh, if um, it is for too long, it will definitely irritate us. It irritates us. Sometimes we have uh, we got headache. Sometimes we uh, irritate. Uh, we feel irritation. Sometimes um, like it changes our mood and behavior also. And some are pleasant sounds which we uh, hear like the musical sounds around us. So they are so present that we want to hear for longer period of time and uh, that it also changes the good uh, like the mood swings also. We are also having the bird shooting sounds. They are also very present indeed in the morning which we feel So now we will see how does sound produce. Sound production is actually is done when any matter moves back and forth very quickly. Back and forth movement, we have talked about this in uh, the chapter that is about the energy conversion in the pendulum, back and forth movement is called vibration. So when uh, the particles move in forward direction or the next forward and the next forward or backward direction. It means when they strike with one another, so they produce some vibrations. Sound, so sound is produced only when something vibrates. So sounds are produced in solids, liquids and gases everywhere in the material, in the medium. So it needs in the medium. So it's very good example how you can feel the vibration is produced. So if we touch our throat while we are talking, so we can feel the vibration in our voice box. So here you can see here, this is the voice box, vocal folds are there, this is layering. So from here, the um, Air is coming by the, with the pressure of air when we talk or when we do uh, sound. So you can put finger here uh, on your throat. So this is uh, larynx uh, that is called uh, voice box. So here the vocal cords are there like uh, uh, the threads present here. They vibrate with the pressure of air and the sound air moves in this direction and like with the help of tongue, we produce uh, sound. So actually the sound is produced when this, um, like this vibration of these vocal cords uh, uh, is done. Okay, very good example of um, we can take the example of this when we strike the spoon on the side of the cup. So when we strike the spoon on the side of the cup, so we also can see the vibration. If the water is present in that um, glass or in the cup, so we can see the vibrations present uh, which are produced in the water. You can see here the vibrations are going to produce. Okay, so uh, the next example we can take when Mosquito produces 
the buzzing sound due to the vibration of their wings. That is the vibration of, you can see here, the vibration of air wings, like moving up and down, back and forth in the air. So we can hear the sound. So a very good example of other is when someone speaks out. So here the vibrations are produced and we can hear the sound. This is a very good example. Um, uh, this one, you can just uh, place your hand in front of the mouth of the other also. <laughs> so you can feel the vibration by uh, making the sound. Okay. One very good example is the flute or bansri. The sound due to the vibration of the particles which are um, here by blowing in it so the particles are strike with this uh, flute and just when it comes out so it produces a sound Okay, now we will have an activity, the activity that uh, when we hold one end of the ruler firmly on the edge of the table uh, here at one side, when we press the free end of the ruler and release, you will hear the sound and you can see the vibration. So by leaving this one, by leaving the free end, it will move up and down and then uh, here we can see the vibrations which are forming and produced you know, by moving of the scale up and down. So this is very good example to see the vibrations of the sound. When, okay, so very good example of producing the interesting voices of the birds that is the loons. When they move, so when they produce the sound, it hears like they are lopping. That is very interesting. So some birds are also um, sound producers, like they produce some sort of sounds. Now we will see that sound as a form of energy, how we can prove that sound is a form of energy. We know that energy can do work and work is done when something is moved uh, back and forth. So you can see on the drum, drum skin is vibrating and moving up and down. So we have also learned that sound is a kind of energy. That is also kinetic energy. We know that uh, by the, uh, energy transfer from the place of the production of sound to the particles and then it moves forward. So when we strike a drum, so the sound is produced. So when we strike the drum skin, so it makes the sound, it makes the vibrations. So you can uh, see the beating of this drum and uh, the vibration is produced here by the drum sound is produced and the drums can vibrate so we know this and the sound vibrates our eardrum uh, which is present in the ear uh, that also vibrates then we hear the sound larger amount of energy can produce the larger sound it means we beat it more strongly and the vibrations which are produced here they are more so more in number the vibration so we can say that that is um, like a loud sound will be produced 
so if the drummer beats the drum with a lot of force so it will make a loud sound so we can conclude that we can have the result that if uh, there is much energy means beating is too strong it means there is more energy much energy so loud there is loud sound if there is um, less beating slowly beating so there is less energy and there is soft sound so soft sound and loud sound we have uh, studied uh, right now before some slides that loud sounds make unpleasant uh sound and soft sound make pleasant sound so sound as a form of energy how it is you can see through these vibrations sound affect the volume of the sound so uh, we can observe it on the surface of the deck speaker So when the vibrations affect the volume of sound uh, on the deck speaker, the volume, if the volume is high, more vibrations uh, we can see. If we put some pieces of um, uh, paper on empty uh, or some empty capsules, um, um, like uh, capsules are like some uh, medicines, uh, from which we take out the medicines are just uh, these are uh, empty capsules we place on the deck speaker so we make the sound louder so we can conclude that we can get the result that loud sound volume sounds can be produced by strong vibrations uh, and it shows that loud sound possesses more energy than the soft sound so dear students, we have, um, we have seen here in this chapter that how the sound is produced, sound is produced by the vibrations when the particles vibrate uh, back and forth direction. As well as we have seen here that sound as a form of energy how it is form of energy that we can have the experiment. We can put some of the uh, sprinkles, some of the pieces of the papers on the deck or drum skin, and then we uh, make the sound and volume louder. So it produces more sound. So um, the pieces of papers will uh, like uh, will uh, dance over it. And so you can see here, the higher you can see the higher lines the larger lines here the sound is more higher and there is loud sound if there this way uh, where there's a straight line and less um, vibration so we can see that they are there is less sound or soft sound so dear students wish you all the best uh, I hope you understood and uh, uh, very interesting. Inshallah, we will uh, see you in the next lecture. Wish you all the best. See you then. Allah Hafiz.